sabe? myself a new name on Instagram, so I call myself Bank Tramp, but well, you know, you probably understand why. Because <laughs> I like fishing, I'm a tramp. But anyway, sorry, I'll go there. But uh, I'm still on my quest for Twenty, and as I said, I'm now doing my first 40. I think, on record, I did the last 48 hours when I was about mid 20s. Well, sort of. But I didn't really like it because I, I was down Westlake. If you know Nike, Nike Mall, you know where I meant. But I thought, I, mean, I did actually catch the first old best day, which was 18 and a half. But I don't know, I just went, I don't know how it is. It's probably because I was younger. And I didn't like being away from home. So I just wanted, obviously, with comfort zone, I was back at home. But now, as I've got a little bit older, <coughs> so I've well, I've got 50. Yeah, 51. Uh, now that I got a little bit older, uh, I've just in the past few years got more used to like obviously fishing with someone or fishing on my own and I love it. Uh, anyway, I'll start. Daniel Grimshaw's, 48 hours. I did uh, try and look for fish this morning. I can honestly say I don't think I saw any. I might have saw one, but I didn't. So I thought, well, what the. So I spent about half an hour looking, like I said, it's in. I got down there about, about four to seven. So it's still dark really, just a bit of light in the sky. So yeah, I got down there then, uh, looked, I saw some old stuff, enough, but no, uh, nothing else. So I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do. I saw some further up towards spot one and all that lot. I didn't ask them, but on the far side, which I'm on now, I did, uh, I noticed that there was someone that looked like they were packing up, which they weren't. And they'd been down from Friday till Sunday, and they did three, and the biggest was 20, which, uh, you know, it's good fish. So I thought, well, I know it's changing a bit over the next couple of rains, there's going to be more rain and slightly warm temperatures. So I thought, well, basically, uh, give it a go where you know, sort of thing. So that's where I am. Um, it feels weird, though. I mean, I've not rushed setting up this morning. Like I say, at the moment, it's about half ten. So it took me to think about it over three hours to, like, set up for that. Uh, I'm doing a normal trick, chill out in front of the weeds, but I'm using a CCMR or the Odyssey Triple X on that, the PVA bikes. Uh, but I am trying, so because it's getting colder now, I thought, I've never seriously tried it, but I thought I'm going to try it now. Well, I've sort of tried it before. Uh, I'm going to try like a reducer rig. I've took a picture, so I'll show you. Uh, well, I'll put it in the video. And I put PVA bag with, with uh, I was, it's weird, I was going to use like PVA mesh, but it just weren't coming out right. So I decided to use PVA bags, which it comes out perfect. So pellets, a few maggots in there. And uh, see how that does. Uh, yeah, but anyway, obviously, because, you know what I mean? I'm not, I suppose I sh probably should, but I ain't got a spot. The, a lot of people spot uh, maggots out. So I'm just going to see this method, see how it goes. I've got that out. I did. I can put it. What I did do. Uh, I like. Obviously, as you can see behind where you can see the rod on that side. I like, did a lot of uh, feature. Well, I did quite a bit of feature finding. And all I could see to find in my spot was like. The ledge, what goes down, obviously to the to the uh, 
channel sort of thing. And I find that, obviously you find that all the time, the, the view from the side wall. And I find on the edge of that, it's quite smooth. So I thought to myself, I know, but the rest, I can't really find anything else. The rest of it is just like sort of gravel. I can't really find any spots of like smooth stuff or anything like that. So I thought I'd fish on the edge of there with the, uh, actually do something sort of thing. So the plan is, obviously, I mean, I'll explain to you my thoughts in a minute. Uh, the plan at the moment is for today to carry on with that, keep obviously fishing on the edge of that channel, see how it goes, and fish into obviously till tomorrow morning. Then, if I've had any activity here, I'll probably carry on obviously with the same method, but if not, then what I was thinking of doing was. I've either got the option to move if I really wanted, or what I might do if I see obviously fish signs is uh, obviously I've brought like uh, some six or men, and I'm gonna do like I might get top six there. Do you know what I mean? Which is something I've never tried before. So yeah, that's my plans really. I mean. Before the other thoughts are, which I was going to explain, is I was watching. I think we all watch YouTube videos, and uh, I was watching one that sort of. It sort of. I wouldn't say wrong own, but it sort of made. Probably made a bit of sense. Where. Obviously, you don't see any uh, fish normally jump in the wind. But he was explaining what a lot of pressured waters does, and this is a pressured water because it's always deeper by now. Uh, in the winter, they seem to like shut off. But if you are going to see any, you're going to see any when it, round right about when it gets dark, or just after it gets dark at night. And so I'm hoping later on, if this does work out to be true for this area, sorry, this part. Then I should see fish signs of where they probably are. And if I don't have it tonight, then I might move where I see the fish signs of if I see the fish signs. If not, then obviously I'll keep your eyes out, just keep looking, sort of thing, see if I do. But so far, I'm gonna say I've not seen anything. Well, that can say is a car, but then again, they're not as so they're not as obviously that active this time of year. So, I'm, like I said, I'm just looking for anything. I think that's about it. I'm, I think I'm in pog, pog, brain screen. I'm in spot 25, I think it was, yeah. So, I'll, I'll, anyway, I'll turn it around and let's see where I'm fishing.
sorry about that. <laughs> Things started slipping. Oh yeah, something else I didn't mention. Oh, I know, I said we we'll some water there. Something else I didn't mention. A good thing now is, to be honest, they're actually, you can probably hear it a bit, uh, they're actually building flood defences along the edge of the pond. Uh, what they're actually doing is they're actually uh, putting like big sort of concrete bollards in. A bit like you see when they're like dividing motorways and that. And hopefully, because that's why it's uh, about two foot high, then hopefully it should stop any water getting in. But I mean, yeah, we'll see. I think for the past two years it's probably been flooded though, so you know what I mean? Hall. Uh, no, nothing to report, but I just thought I sort of realised anyway. But uh, like I said, we're doing the flood defences work, they are banging quite a bit. So, I mean, that's probably not that I've had any any signs anyway, but that's probably probably going to put the fish off a little bit more. No, you can do I mean, it's, it's lovely down here though. Realising now it's dropped, temperature's dropping a bit, it's not very advisable, I'm probably going to change soon, it's not very advisable to like stay in your waders, because the, the bloody code we be leather, well, or neoprene or what people call it. Uh, so I'm probably going to change the temperature soon. I have, I mean, I've, I've, I've got warmer gear, so I mean, I've got my jacket in there. Uh, I've got my wellies, I've not put them in yet, I'm not, I'll show them you, I think. But I brought them a while ago, I used them last year, they're brilliant these are. So definitely rec but if you want any wellies, get ski tex wellies. And I brought these. They're like the thermal inlines. So I'll be lovely and toasty. So I mean I'm, I'm not bothered about being well, I'm not bothered about being code. I've brought a, another must for this time of year, whether I'll need it later, because it's meant to be quite warm. But ugh, there you go, messing everything up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, the only other thing I normally do bring is oh sorry, it, just gonna tidy things up. Yeah, the only things I normally do, other things I normally bring, right brought it this time, is I made my own a while ago now, tea light eater. And uh basically what you do is you shut your baby up, obviously up to a frying pan, tea lights, four tea lights, still underneath. I mean you change it about two or three times here at night, but I mean it's just I think whether it actually makes it any warmer or not I don't know but I think it's just a bit more comforting I mean I have been out fishing when it's been down to two or no no it, it, I don't think it got down to minus two well anyway sure I did a video uh, so yeah I mean yeah I'm going to have to watch the end of the, that uh, yeah because I didn't explain the video I did watch was uh, I'll say Is it Gary Pennington or something? And, uh, I mean, I quite... I actually quite like him because he's... I think he says it as he is, if you know what I mean. I mean, I mean, I don't know what I'm sure people think, but... With other video people, they're actually... There and you know they're promoting their own. I mean, yeah, he does work for a JRC and some else. I forgot what it is, uh, but they're, they're promoting their own stuff. If you know what I mean, like or who they're like sponsored by, affiliated with, whatever. And that's why I don't really take a lot of notice. I mean, yeah, there's certain stuff I like. I mean, I do like Sonic stuff. I can't fault Sonic stuff. Uh, I've actually got a Nash. All in one suit. It was sold to me, but I've had no problems with it. But it's falling to bloody bits now, so I might have to get a new one next year. Uh, but I've never had any problems with that, apart from it falling to bits, obviously. But 
I have got a JRC stuff myself. I think I think I've got a JRC like rod bag, but uh, I think that got ripped or something, so that's falling to bits. But I can't fault it. Make you saying, "Oh, why you buy? Why you got that big thing for?" Because it takes up room, and I thought, "Well, I'm not being fun there. It keeps all my stuff in it." So, uh, what's we got? Obviously, Delcom alarms, Shimano reels. Uh, I got. A Sonic, uh, set me in my brain. I've got a Sonic uh, Cradle, and I've also got a Sonic uh, Land in that, and, which I think it cost me about 60 odd, was it more 60, probably 60 or 80, but I just love it because it's light and, uh, you know, I've never had any problems with it. The Bivy, obviously, I brought second hand, that's a uh, fucking hell. Aqua. And I love it because the material's thick and that, and uh, I've never done any problems with it. And that's what I mean. I mean, some people are out there, oh, you know, we've got to have the latest things, we've got to have certain things, you know, it looks nicer and all that lot. But I, I think as long as you're comfortable with stuff and you're happy with stuff, then that's all right. Yeah. I have recently, sorry, I have recently joined this Facebook group, and it's, I don't know why I've joined it, probably because we mate link or something in it. Uh, is it Shimano Tec- Techniums or something? Uh, I can't they look gorgeous reels, but I can't spend that much money on a fucking reel. Uh, I think it is getting close to me putting some different clothing on. Mm. Yeah. The breeze is actually bringing the temperature... It's not much of a breeze, but it's bringing the temperature down slightly. So... And I mean, I've had one beep on one of my side rods, and uh, that's it so far. And again, I've only been, well, and technically been set up about two hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna recast back in about one, and then about five, because about six to half past it gets, as it gets dark. And that's it. I think for today. I mean. Something should come along, I'd like to think, but, well, we'll have to see, won't we? I mean, I'm here, like I say, I'm here for... I'm doing it again. Sorry. Uh, fucking leaves. <laughs> uh, I'm here for two days, so, you know. If I don't know over two days, then I'm definitely in the wrong fucking spot. I mean, I can't say how I am because... People had it. People had fish. Well, one person I know had fish over the weekend, and uh, you know, it was slow, but I, I sort of get that with the temperature. And but the temperature was obviously slightly different. And the next couple of days were meant to be well, not warm, but meant to be four or five degrees warmer than what it's meant to be. So yeah. Hmm. I think I'm going to change. Yeah. Oh, no, in fact, I might stay in this a bit. I also need to put the phone on charge. Or the video I've been doing. So it might be a long video when I get it done. The new one. Yeah. But I'll short. I'll obviously shorten it. I'm going to speed up certain sections as well. Like I've done a video of me setting up. Well, sort of setting up. Uh setting all the bits up and then obviously setting me bivvy up and uh yeah it looks like I'm <laughs> a bit clumsy but uh you know anyway not any much for an update I just wanted to tell you about the uh the, the flood defences and that which I think is a brilliant idea because past couple of winters it's flooded twice so obviously you can't get down yeah Anyway, Teddy Bay for new. Right, well. Hello all again. It's now about, well, 6pm on the 18th. And to be honest, I've had nothing all day. Not a sausage. I've had one beep on the Medusa rig. And that's it. 
other things. Now, I think the people that set up across me, they just had one. So, I mean, it's looking promising. It's just, I mean, I'm expecting now, or now, or into dark, right now, or after, there should be some, hopefully, you should see some fish signs. But, we will see. I mean, it's. I've talked about this before, and when you're not catching, you're sort of like confidence goes and goes and goes. I mean, you know, but I still, I still got what's it, twelve hours of darkness. Still got all tomorrow, another twelve hours of darkness. So I still technically got, well, not twenty-four hours. I still got about thirty-six. Yeah, thirty-six hours to catch one I mean I'm slowly I'm probably going to slow down a bit but I'm slowly feeding the spots if I'm fishing me choices at the moment is it doesn't seem like I'm having the wrong spot or it doesn't seem like what I'm doing might be working but we don't know that until obviously next tomorrow morning uh, if that's the case then what I think you'd try tomorrow is obviously I know it's gonna be rainy again is trying one on sig when my gets on top but I'm actually thinking of trying the reducer closer in I mean I've got pop-ups in that so I've always to try them on zig uh, there's not really a lot else I can say. I mean, from what I can see, the people across, they, they have spawned a bit. I'm not sure what they're using, but uh, obviously not using PBA bags or anything like that. So, well, I don't know, I mean... I'm not really doing anything different, I mean, I'd like to think I'm doing something different using PBA bags, but, you know, but we'll see anyway, but like I say, it's getting, gradually getting, it's not too bad today, but it's gradually getting colder, and, you know, things like that, so, Who knows? Like I say, I'm, I'm hoping it swaps them onto like nighttime feeding, and I am fairly sure I've seen that before. I mean, last time I come down, it wasn't one could go. I had one a couple of hours into darkness, so probably is that. I'd like to think, but we can only but say. I mean, <laughs> well. If obviously I'm not getting out and I see them across from me, like game one or two, then more than likely probably I'm in the wrong spot. Or fishing the wrong areas. It's a tough one. Yeah. <sighs> they just love fishing. I mean, it's weird. I mean, time is. Seeing as we got there at, uh, what's it, 7 o'clock this morning, time's flew by, it's now 6 o'clock, so that's, I've been here 12 hours already. So I think the rest of the time's going to fly by. Hmm. Oh well. We all learn in that. Surprised I'm not that I've not had anything there. Because I mean I know me have some indication even if it's like a tension or something. Uh, the only downside to today, but and they'll probably be doing it again tomorrow, is they have been doing work on the flood defences down there. Uh, 
So that was making noise, but you know, I stopped now about an hour or two ago. So hopefully, if that was the case, it should start to bring them on. Uh, we'll see anyway. All right, no night for now, and of course. If I do get out, I'll link it or whatever. I'll put it in the video. Right, well, that one. Like I say, it's about 7 o'clock. I just caught this gorgeous common in about £9. Hello, sorry about this, mate. Right, well, morning after the night before, I suppose, the best way of explaining it. <coughs> to me. Uh, what to say? Uh, I didn't really. <coughs> I didn't really get a lot of sleep. And I'll do it that way, probably. Uh, I just never sleep properly when I'm fishing there. Uh, but that aside, obviously, it means you're pretty, pretty late sleeping when obviously your rods start going. <laughs> Right, update anyway, so pretty eventful night, it's sort of weird, the fish seemed to have turned on after having one beeping the order of yesterday from 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, I think the beeps or the activity started around about half 6, yeah, no, about half 5. Half six was when I had a. It's like I said, I went over, went over to it. It looked like the end of the rod were bending, so I struck. Nothing there. Uh, half past seven. Obviously, the rod was again had a lovely little fight. And uh, it was a lovely nine pound comma. Now I've got a video of it and all that line, anyway. Uh, then I think what was it? Then I think yeah. Then I think it was half past one. Again, rod goes. Didn't hit into anything. The rod looked like it was bending, but you know, so probably somewhat small. Then about half three, rod went again. Uh, that was a nice scrapper. Uh, looked almost football shaped. I've got a picture, and that was a lovely sort of <laughs> near enough, perfectly ran ten pound mirror. Uh, and very nothing on beeps and that. And this morning, about what was it? I think it was about eight o'clock, around about just after about twenty minutes after like casting in. Uh, yeah, my rod rolls off again. Lovely little fight. I'll just let it do its own thing as you do. And ping. Oh fuck you! Know, I, I, I was almost tempted. I was almost tempted to like throw the rod on the ground. Uh, but no, I lost it because uh, I'm not sure. But I think there must have been some sort of damage on the uh, on the braid or something. Because it lacks like, it was complete snap. It once snapped near the arc. Uh, which was a shame so yeah like I say it's pretty eventful and I've still got I've still got over 24 hours left so I could in theory I could have had three fish but it were the two extra ones so better than what I thought I'd do uh, I've changed my method slightly I know I already explained yesterday. Uh, I'll do it that way, that's better. So I'm thinking about dropping back off again. Uh, right, I still kept it the same on the left and right rod. I was thinking of changing the right one, but with all the activity I'm having on the left one, I'm just, I made you my bet, so I'm leaving it on that. The middle one, I've took off the Medusa rig because I did not. I had one beep on that all yesterday. 
and I've actually put on a SIG but with maggot tops so you know I'm going to keep altering that see if I can find the depth see if they are up in the water or whatever but it's just that last night the reason on that last night they were around about all six time they were topping like one oh and uh, I think a lot of it were the same fish but you know it just makes you think you know it maybe that's I just want to do it in preparation for that, if you know what I mean. Possibly. Also, you know, see to so today, because, like I said, yesterday it was nothing really. Until it got to the night time, so... I'm sort of ex... I'm not saying it won't, but I sort of expect it to be the same thing again. And also, they're doing the work... They're doing back the flood defences again, so... We've got that, so we're... Uh, that's about it, so... Considering this is my uh, second day of a uh, 24 hour, I would be going on two or three hours. Second day, so uh, I mean, I've caught, I've had activity, so it's all well and good, but like I said, I've still got 24 hours yet, so touch war though, I should get some more. Anyway, touch bye for now. Right, well, bit of an update. Uh, Hello, all once again. Uh, I'll say it's about half past three in the afternoon now, on the second day. And about 20 minutes ago, I was watching them on my phone, and uh, about 20 minutes ago, just heard the buzzer going off, and uh, come out. I, I don't know, I couldn't work out, I should have looked at the buzzer really, but I couldn't work out which one it was because basically it had pulled my pod over. So by the time I worked out which one it was, obviously, I think it obviously snapped it, so I think, uh, I don't know, it's two I've lost now, so I could have had four. I'm doing brilliant, aren't I? Yeah. But apart from that, it's been really quiet all day. Uh, I've heard nothing I'd say on the SIG. I set the odd beat, but that's probably Linus. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's looking hopeful tonight, but it's making me think I want more bloody time down here. <laughs> oh, no, I need to go home tomorrow as well. I've got time, there'll be more. It'd just be nice to get a decent one out. But time will tell. Alright, tatty bye for now. Alright, well, everybody. I'll pass for on the second day. And I caught a gorgeous little cop. morning all it is now Wednesday morning about half past eight what did they have through the night bugger all which is very strange really I think I've seen a couple of fish top but that was it so weather you can't really say the weather's changed it I think it might have got a little bit Cooler. Uh, only about four degrees. And the rain, I don't think the rain because we had rain the previous day, so uh, I know whether the fish might have moved on somewhere. Yeah, pretty strange, but thoughts for 24 hours, so on there. Right. Thoughts. I have 
it's flew by. I mean, like I said, normally only do 24, but it's flew by. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. It was I wasn't expecting the activity of what I did. And they had some lovely, they weren't big fish, but they were lovely fish, so, you know, I'm blanked. And, uh, to be honest, I have to say the maggot thing didn't work. But maybe I was in the wrong spot for that. Uh, yeah, so I've really enjoyed it. And, look forward to the next time we go. I do want to try somewhere a little bit different on here, though. Because I'm not uh, pushing myself, if you know what I mean. I'm fishing somewhere I'm comfortable, so maybe I should try somewhere a bit different where I don't normally try. Yeah. Oh well. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Unless I do get another one for a gram. Oops. Ooh, we have beepies. Uh, but, yeah, sorry. If I get one, obviously, I'll do a bit of a video and uh, see how it goes. Alright, my wife and I.